coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Reed fields it at the one. Across the 30. Brought down at the 33. Michigan State's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor in the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 41. Nice run there. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. It's second and seven. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Second down and around one yard to go. Ball on the 36. Nice run up the middle. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds at the 13 yard line. From the 13 yard line. First down. They get nice yardage on that run. Gain of five yards. That brings them second and five. Tenth play of the drive. Got his receiver. Touchdown. how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's to the 40. Across midfield. Inside the 30. He's taken down right around the 24-yard line.
looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Caught with room to work. Tackle right around the 16-yard line. yard line but the defense is fired up responding and reacting to that sack not only do they get the quarterback but they hit him and hit him hard i think that can really create some confidence for this defense the next time this quarterback drops back to throw you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. it's third down nine to go all on the 23 yard line he gets out to about the 22 yard line maybe a yard on that draw play Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Texas Tech is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Up the middle for a nice game. There are three quarters remaining. Spartans lead it by four. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Michigan State holds a four-point lead. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Quick toss. Great concentration to pull it in. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Spartans. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Once he got the ball, he did all the heavy lifting to take it to the house. Tacks on the extra point with a three-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's taken down at the 29. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Brought down at the 30. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30. And he throws right away. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Step 
It's out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. They complete the play-action pass for a pickup of three. Usually, you get a linebacker covering the tight end. So they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 42. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it 31. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. Throws it and it's tipped away. You know, the safety's responsibility, Brad, is to always make sure nothing is going to get behind them. You cannot ever get beat deep. But also, he has a responsibility to step up and make a play on the football in front of him. It's just another example of a defensive back, in this case a safety, just having really good instincts to be able to come up and know when to come up to knock that ball away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. up looks long enough and he missed it right no good and the offense will take the field and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive which ended with a turnover the game is in danger of getting out of hand early it's very very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive but they also need to get a score on the board as well tackle made at the 47. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Gets it out quickly. Brought down in the open field. Falls to the ground. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. That makes it 33. Taken down at the 17 yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's tackled at the 16. The quarterback draw goes for about a yard, but that's it. Second and eight. Ball on the 16 yard line. A nice run up the middle. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Number six is the intended receiver on the way. That makes it fourth and four. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Texas Tech gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. 
Tackle made at the 31-yard line. The Spartans offense today, Herbie, we looked at it all week as being a ground-oriented attack, and I'm a little bit surprised by how they're moving the ball in the air. This has been fun to watch. You're right. I mean, I, I thought we'd come in and see a, a dominant running game, and up to this point, it's really been more about the quarterback and the receivers. They make the stop at about the 49. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. And he's tackled in the open field. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Michigan State holds an eight-point advantage. Again with a carry. That's a great tackle at the 48. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. And it's incomplete. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. Michigan State's up by eight. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. And I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Townsend from the three. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 39. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Looking to scramble down, he can't get away from the pressure. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Man open, incomplete. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Man can't tack on any yardage. And he's tackled at the twenty four yard line. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Michigan State up by eight. With a quick throw. 
Makes the grab and steps out right away. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. There he goes. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it first From the 44-yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Gain three yards. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's third down. He throws. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Michigan State is up by eight. Tackle right around the 14-yard line. Moses intended to see the play. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he's hit immediately. So the pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Here they come. Throws out to the running back, no good. Second down and goal. Ball on the seven-yard line. State. Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he adds the extra point. A nice 10 play, 76 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score. 21-6. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out quick. It's picked off. To the 20. They'll bring him down at about the 11. From the 11-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up second and three. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Spartans! We 
This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Texas Tech's getting stopped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on. He makes it to the 28-yard line. We head to the fourth. 28 to 6. Spartan makes it second and eight. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Brought down at the 40. So the sack makes this a second and long. Flips it middle to the running back. And he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Less than three minutes in the game. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Up the middle for a nice game. From the 23-yard line, second down. it to the 14. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. He makes his way out to about the six. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings us short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Made 
at the three yard line. That's good for him. That makes it first and goal. I know he ain't got it. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score 28 to 6, Spartan. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.